Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm really excited to talk about the new updates that Trading has announced for the Pine editor for PyScript. So in many ways, Pine editor now resembles the Veal Studio code from Microsoft and for all, almost all the developers and programmers, the Veal Studio code is kind of industry standard because of its robust design and features. So now PineScript editor also resembles the Veal Studio code, which is very good because in the version five, Trading announced a lot of very good features. And now with this update, editing the PineScript codes and writing your codes has become very easier as we'll see in this video. So first of all, let's talk about the first feature that is the command line or command options. So you can access the command prompt or command palette by right clicking and clicking on this command palette. Or you can also press F1, which will bring up these commands. So you can scroll through these commands to search for the command you're looking for, or you can just type, let's say zoom in. And here we can see that now the text is a little bit bigger. If I just hit press one and click on this again, the text becomes more bigger. So this feature allows us to zoom into the code or increase the font size of the code that we have written. And there are above 100 commands that PineScript editor has announced in its latest update, which is very good, okay? The second feature is the dynamic parameter suggestions and documentation. So what this means is, let's say we're writing a piece of code in which we're, let's say I want to save RSI value for my variable. So let's say I introduce a variable and here I am saying RSI just core 14 and when I go ahead and type ta dot now as you can see that there is this autocomplete that opens up automatically which is very helpful and if I just type rs and you can see that it is suggesting me do you want to use the rsi do you want to use rising or a lot of suggestions that it's suggesting so I'll just click on this rsi and now as you can see it has opened this dynamic parameter suggestions and documentation tab or this pop-up. So now using this pop-up, I am able to see what are the parameters or arguments that are available for TA.RSI. For example, the first argument that we have to present is source and then the length. And let's say here, I give it the source of close. And if I just type here length, L-E-N-G-T-H, and here you can see now it says number of bars or how many number of bars do you want to calculate the RSA for? So I'm just gonna type 14. And now with this, you are able to see I am, whenever I type any function or any parameter inside the trading uh, PineScript editor, it will give me live suggestions and also live documentation as you can see here for anything that I I'm using or programming the built-in functions. So this feature is very helpful because it's really hard to remember all the arguments for each function. Earlier in previous versions, we had to click, go here and click on control and then click on this to bring up this window, which explains each argument that are available for each function. But with this new feature, it has become very helpful. For example, if I say bot and here you can see, plot and now it's showing me the arguments that the plot function takes and also it's telling me that the series of data to be plotted required argument and here it specifies that this argument must be given in order for this plot function to work and another very useful feature that PineScript has introduced into its Pine editor is error and warning highlighting so let me show you what this means let's say if I just type in if close is greater than open then let's say i want to assign alert condition a value of true now as you will see that the editor has highlighted this and if i just click here it's saying that this identifier is not declared in the past, which is correct. So now without even compiling, I'm able to see the errors in my code. 
which is very helpful because earlier in the previous versions or uh, in the previous version of this pine editor i had to save the code and then it would compile and tell me in which line there is an error and i could fix that but now it handles the warnings and errors live in the live mode and also as you can see it's giving me suggestions if there is a quick fix available it will show me that quick fix for example if i just introduce this variable alert condition is equal to na and let me just present it with full and now if i just remove this now you'll see that it gives me a quick fix as well as you can see here no quick fix shadowing variable alert condition which exists in a parent scope did you want to use this change this to this operator instead of equal to so i'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and now you'll see that the warning line will disappear so let me just close this and as you can see here now i have reassigned this alert condition a true value inside this loop okay this is also a very helpful feature for a lot of programmers and let's talk about another feature that's new and that's very helpful so now any loop or any in uh, indented value that's that you're using inside pine editor now you can wrap these for example here you can see that there are these download arrows which you can click these act as kind of the toggles for opening and closing the code under this parent okay so here you can see i can close this if loop and also close this switch statement and th what this does is it makes the code much more cleaner and easier to work with because now uh, i can hide the unnecessary code in my training view pine script editor okay so let me just go ahead and one way is it will automatically show you the uh this toggle window okay and it will suggest you that here you can hide or show this okay or you can also do this manually for example if i want to hide these rsi 14 and variable pool, uh, boolean alert condition is equal to na then what i'd have to do is just four slashes and this bracket and then also four slashes and close bracket so now you'll see that i can also hide any code inside the pine editor which i want to and this feature is very helpful because it helps us categorize the code in a very good manner another very good feature is that there is this mini map now if your code is let's say several hundred lines for example five to six hundred lines then you can just use this mini map in order to scroll through or skim through your code and when you come here and click on this and drag it upward or downward you can scroll through your code without using the uh, mouse button or the scroll button on the mouse so you can just click on it and drag it and it will skim through all the code showing you all the code that you have written on several hundred lines and this feature also makes your programming much much faster now let's talk about the other function that's the color palette option okay so earlier in the previous versions what we if we were using or assigning any color to any identifier let's say if i did, uh, we have identified this plot rsi the color of this hash and now what it does what PineScript does is it gives you the color palette where you can select your custom color so let's say if i just assign it color dot white and now what it will do is it will make this small icon if i scroll, uh, hover over there it will give me do you want to change this color and i can go ahead and select any color with any opacity and it will automatically write the code for that color so this feature is again very robust and very good for your programming because you can use it to customize different colors on the go without even going to google and searching about its code you can just come here and hover over to here and just see what what color do you want to use this feature is very good and i do use it multiple uh, times inside my code for 
the good presentation. And also another very good feature that the Pine Editor has introduced is now you can edit your code from anywhere. And what that means is you just have to be logged into your device. For example, if you want to write your code in the desktop, you can either use the browser or the desktop application. Or if you want to edit your code inside the, your mobile device, then you can just go towards tradingview.com slash pine. And what it will do is it will open up the pine editor inside your mobile device. And this helps you write your code and save it, saves it automatically inside your phone. So you can also, once you're logged in and click on the save, the script will be saved into your account, which you're logged into. And this feature helps you work from anywhere at any time. So this is very helpful as well. I hope you guys liked the video because in the, in our coming videos, we're going to cover the technical stuff. In this video, I just wanted to cover the new updates that the Pine Editor has. And with these features and with these updates, we should be able to write our codes much faster and also much cleaner. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and comment down below. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.